Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the 2018 blockbuster movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom which is now the fifth I believe yeah the fifth in the Jurassic Park movies now and the direct sequel to 2015's Jurassic World. Now I'll start off by saying I'm not a huge fanboy when it comes to the Jurassic Park movies. Um, I completely understand how uh, the first one is revered as much as it is. It was revolutionary at the time, but I've never been a massive fan of it, the first Jurassic Park. The two direct sequels following that, I think, you know, vary in quality and uh, I'm not really that fussed about either. So, consequently, when Jurassic World came out in 2015, I wasn't particularly interested and I didn't even go to the cinema to see it. I saw it on um, Blu-ray for the first time. And I was suitably impressed with that movie. I thought it was a really great movie and it really freshened up the franchise um, for a new audience, if you like, even though I wasn't um, completely blown away by it and I'm a little bit mystified as to why it was so successful, even though it is a good film. So I've not been overly excited for this movie. Uh, Fallen Kingdom. I think the trailers looked impressive. Um, I, I am a huge fan of Chris Pratt and I think he's one of the best cinematic finds of the last decade. I think he's a true leading man um, and I've pretty much enjoyed everything he's ever done on screen pr to a large degree. So I was reasonably looking forward to going and seeing this movie after the trailers etc and enjoying Jurassic World. And after seeing this movie guys, yep, this pretty much delivers everything you would expect from a direct sequel to that movie. Um, they don't really make any massive missteps with this movie. They don't, but at the same time they don't take any huge risks either. They kind of follow a fairly gen generic paint by numbers pattern here because I think they're, they're scared to have a misfire I think with this movie. And what they deliver is a fairly safe but ultimately very entertaining movie. And this film focuses on um, following what happened in Jurassic World. Um, the park obviously now is closed. There's a huge debate going on as to whether um, the animals on there should be saved, the dinosaurs, because the volcano is going to erupt. Um, and it's basically it's going to make them all extinct. Um, the world powers, if you like, make a decision, thanks in part to Jeff Goldblum's Ian Malcolm's appearance, to decide to do nothing. So, it is down to the generic evil corporation um, to put together its team and they basically dupe uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's character and Chris Pratt's character to go back to the island under the impression that they're actually saving species from extinction um, and also to find Blue, um, the velociraptor that Chris Pratt raised. When they get to the island, they figure, and it's this you see it all in the trailer, uh, they figure out fairly quickly they've been duped, and actually this evil corporation is there for um, a different reason, and that's obviously for money and weaponizing, all the usual stuff that you kind of expect. Um, and for me, as soon as they got to the island and you see Ted Levine, um, you know, who was in Science of the Lambs and has been a baddie in every movie pretty much he's ever done, as soon as you see him, you just kind of think, yeah. He's the bad guy. He's a bad guy. And it's one of those movies, this, where as soon as you see somebody, it's not subtle. You're kind of like, yeah, he's a bad guy. Oh, yeah, that's a bad guy. Yeah, oh, that, they're going to be a good person. Um, it's, it, there's no grey area with this movie. It's, like I say, it's very, very safe. So the island erupts into a ball of lava and flames, and they, they've got to kind of get off the island with all these species that they've... Um, saved to sell on and Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's character have to try and then figure out how they're going to save these species from this evil corporation etc 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 kind of stuff you've seen before and it kind of follows a lot of the beats from um, the second Jurassic Park film um, there's some similar beats going on in this movie and similar beats from stuff you've seen in all the other movies in regards to the nasty corporations etc etc so there you go that is generally speaking the story that you get with this movie and like i say it's very safe it doesn't take any risks um it's written in a way that 
um, is quite dumbed down. I mean, there's there's, there's a few sequences in it where you, you'll face palm. Um, you know, for example, they they uh, they need to get off this island that's getting engulfed in lava and flames. Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's character. And by this point, you know, they're not on friendly terms with the, you know, the military that came to the island with them. So what did they decide to do to get off the island? Jump in a truck and literally jump off the ledge of the island into the back of this ship that they're sailing away in. And nobody notices that they've done this. <laughs> I mean, it. there are some serious first part moments in this film. Um, but you kind of forgive it because it's, you know, it's not trying to be, you know overly intellectual and clever or anything it's just trying to entertain and I have to say it does do it in spades this movie um, you do come out of the theatre um, having a good time it does exactly what you expect it to do it's one of those movies you sit down with your big tub of popcorn with your family your friends and you know you are going to be entertained for two hours there's, there's no getting around it um, I kind of felt as though the Ian Malcolm thing was a bit missold um, all I'll say is don't expect much in regards to his appearance in the movie. Um, but everybody else does a pretty decent job. They, they try and tie um, the other movies together um, as best they can. Um, and I think they do a reasonably decent job of doing that. And the action is pretty very entertaining throughout the movie. The effects, obviously, as you would expect for this movie... Um, are outstanding anything less than that and you lose immersion in a movie like this and I'm pleased to say that from my perspective I didn't have any problems with any of the effects um, the action sequences are very good um, the the comedy when they give it you is suitable it's not too much it's just right even though you do get the obligatory comedy side character um, and it's not just Chris Pratt with the one line as you get a couple of other, one in particular like the computer whiz who you know he's like the comedy sidekick um, and it was actually more in clothes than I expected this movie um, like the first half of the movie you kind of like on the island and on the ship leaving the island and the second part of the movie is is more in clothes than you might imagine and I'm not going to say how it plays out the second half of the movie because it surprised me so I wanted to surprise you but needless to say yeah I th I, I had a good time with this movie it, it's entertaining it does its job um, I think fans of the movies are going to be pretty happy with this um, I'm not sure it's going to win any new fans over but a pretty safe sequel I would say here wildly entertaining good fun and I had good fun with the movie definitely so yeah I'll give this an 8 out of 10 guys definitely worth a watch if you're a fan of this series so thank you very much for watching